Okay, guys, okay, okay. So the first trailer for Jigsaw broke, and guys, I'm still a little bit excited for this. I just wanted to kind of get this out of the way, honestly. Just, uh, I'm going to do a trailer breakdown the best way I know how, and honestly, guys, this might take a little bit, so just stay with me. I'm going to go with this, like, maybe just, like, kind of shot by shot. Honestly, guys, this is, like, way more than I ever really thought it was actually going to be. I didn't think they had to give us, like, something like this, and guys, let me just get, let me just drop, jump in here, because it's going to take too long if I don't do any of that. Okay, so... Obviously, that's just something they've been putting, you know, that little kind of teaser thing that they've been putting before a whole lot of trailers these days. Uh, yeah, that that's essentially what that is. But all right, here we go, guys. Here we go. So, I, OK, I just wanted to, like, go back with this just a little bit. I, I love the intro to this. First of all, I have to say something real quick about the look and feel of this film. If you've seen the rest of the trailer, I'm gonna link it in the description section below. Go watch it before you watch this, obviously, because I'm just gonna go over this like really kind of slowly. I love the look and feel of this film. I absolutely do. A lot of people might have problems that they've gotten rid of the green or blue or red tone, uh, you know, structure that it was. But one of the things I actually really liked about that is in the original three films, when John Kramer was actually still alive, especially in Saul 3, where he was most, you know, relevant, where he was actually in that world, and he was there while the trap was going on, it was really green and just grimy, and you know, just that feel, and I really like this, because now we're, like, kind of a decade removed, and some of the later films, anyway, got rid of that stuff, as they got lighter, even to do the 3D stuff and everything. I think, in the way I've always depicted it, is, like, that was jigsaw's world like this is jigsaw's world as he's alive and this is us 10 years removed from his world and it's kind of went back to normal it feels like a normal world and we're not necessarily inundated with that but i mean let's just keep going forward now the game's simple the best ones are you want mercy by the rules so it looks like from this we have kind of an indication on this girl's like walking down the street i don't know who this guy is but you know whatever <laughs> uh it just looks like kind of like a public type of display trap it'd be kind of cool the guy for hanging from the tree i'm not necessarily sure how that plays out but we're just gonna have to wait and see i personally would like the idea of some kind of public trap but again, then again you don't necessarily need to do that obviously this is just reaction to it i also like the idea uh, or you know this kind of plays into automatically so this is probably the beginning of the movie and it plays in automatically to the guy that we're about to see with the puzzle piece cut on his uh cut off his his face but let's get into that any identification on the victim so this guy's the one I'm talking about. So, you know, any identification, puzzle piece. And uh, this is the person we see them talking about whenever they're talking about the the issue of John Kramer or who he is. Like, oh my God, he's back. And they also found, they also find the little chip on him where they get his message to the, the police or whomever is the new copycat. But, you know, let's keep going. Puzzle piece. But Jigsaw has been dead for 10 years. It's not him. Can't be. This was on the body. First of all, I like that. I like the idea we saw at the very beginning there. If you saw at the very beginning, we have the classic Play Me tapes and the uh, classic tape recorders. But now this is this is like literally Jigsaw of modern day. Like he's hiding little little SIM cards like in people. <laughs> I just love that. Like I, 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 look guys. You're not going to ever tell me that this isn't the coolest thing ever. It's like, this is a modern day Saul film. And I know the last ones weren't that long ago, but when you start pushing 10 years for even your third film and your fourth film, I mean, come on, guys, we need an update. This is a modern day Jigsaw film. I'm very, very excited. The truth will set you free. So this is the shot that we got, you know, albeit a little up at the end of the night last night um i did a video on it i said that this shot was going to be in the trailer obviously it is a lot of people are getting feels from saw 5 i completely understand that i really like the idea that this is from saw 5 but honestly guys like 
Uh, as you see later on, let's just, let's just push forward a little bit so we can show. I don't necessarily know what the buckets are for. Uh, obviously, it has something to do with the change that they're, they're on and whoever's going to die. And if you look, go further in the trailer, you know that this guy right here, a uh, guy who's still passed out, that guy's dead. <laughs> I don't know who his name is. I don't know how these guys are connected, but you know, classic Jigsaw situation. They're connected in some way, and it'd be pretty awesome. It's going to be pretty awesome to figure out exactly how and for whatever twist this is. Potentially, I think they want us to think that it's either someone in the police station or it's one of these people. And as we said, you know, Laura Vandevort, whom I think is right here. It, 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 no, actually, I think that's the other girl. It's like Laura Vandevort's either here or there. I can't think. I can't see in this shot. But I think, uh, I believe it's right here. I think that we're gonna, we're gonna see, it might just be one of these people. It's gonna be her or uh, Mendel Peetles or whatever. I can't necessarily remember his name, but we'll see him later on in the trailer. See, okay, so they're being pulled. So it's kind of, they're kind of right on that situation. They're not necessarily being dragged or they didn't have to drag each other like we saw in Saw 5 but we're being pulled. I want to come back to the idea that this is a trap that's just like Saw 5 based on something else we see in this trailer, but I'll get there. I also like the idea that they have these these cool like Saw things. There's a lot of just random Saws in this movie, and I think that that's actually pretty cool, honestly. Like it's kind of the traps seem big, but also a little bit more simple, and I'm also really nice, it's nice that we have a trap situation. I think it looks like the main trap of the movie be a multiple person trap like the good old days. I was thinking it was going to be a little small, uh, one person after one person after one person with no middle main trap in between, and maybe more of a personalized thing that we saw at the very beginning of the Saw films, but at the same time, I'm very happy. This, like, honestly, guys, no criticism right now. This is just, I'm just like so blown away. I love the idea. And obviously, like I said, that guy's dead, but we're going to see. I think, uh, I don't necessarily know how this works or how they have to screw each other over or work together, but it looks like one person's dead. Maybe the guy doesn't wake up in time or something. We'll have to wait and see. See, I want to go back. Maybe that guy doesn't wake up in time because he's still out. You know, like that guy, for whatever reason, doesn't wake up. And it'd be interesting because this is like a new Jigsaw killer. Maybe he doesn't get the, the you know, the, the stuff right in order to knock someone out the same amount of time. And he, like, this is a mistake on his part, his or her part. But we're going to have to wait and watch. See, that guy's just out. <laughs> Classic play me. This is the thing I actually wanted to say. Talk about Saul 5 feels. This is Saul 2 feels. If this doesn't remind people of Saul 2, then you haven't watched that movie enough. One of the things they said Darren Lynn Bowsman liked a lot is the SWAT team. So you always want to do SWAT team things, and they, they're like, oh, you gotta go do action movies, man. This is a horror movie. You can't just do SWAT teams all the time. This is Saul 2 feels right here, and I think it's really interesting where they're going. This also looks like Saul 2, like the little the uh, industrial area that they were in. Maybe they're going back to the same area. That would be kind of cool, but let, let me kind of explain. I, yeah, I mean, I, I think that this is all has to do, this all has to do with the same area. Saul 2, I think, I think, I think these are the, these are the same people. I could be wrong. Uh, Actually, no, these might be, this might be something else. I can't remember. But look, guys, this is, this is all, they're, they're in some kind of a warehouse here where somebody has been recreating jigsaw traps and maneuvers. I think that's really, really interesting. See, something like this. That's the, uh, that's the, the angel trap. We had the Saw 2 trap. This is the angel trap that they put Carrie in, uh, and in Saw 3. There's your, there's your, uh, there's your reverse bear trap. This, I think is cool. Guys, I think that's John Kramer. I think that's Tobin Bell, the man himself. And whomever he's talking to is gonna be here. And, ugh, God, I can't, I can't even. I'm, I'm really just, honestly, I'm very disappointed they didn't show J Jigsaw in this trailer, but we're gonna have to get there. You know his name, guys. <laughs> Okay, so this is that trap that we started with. That, like I said, that guy's dead. 
Uh, he's dead. Uh, and they're still chained up. This is that barn that we heard a lot about going into the movie. I didn't cover it a whole lot because it was just a rumor at this point. But the whole barn and motorcycle trap and all that other stuff. I mean, that's just essentially like grade A uh, true. Like that's exactly what's going on here. They're in a barn. So we get back to this. First of all, yeah. Pig mask is coming back. Okay, so I think this is actually pretty interesting. So look at this. I, I noticed this later. See how it's, for whatever reason, this, I think this is Laura Van Voort. No, maybe it's a woman I, mean, I can't see from this angle. But look how it's wrapped around. And we see that later on one more time in the, the, the shot. I wonder how that really works uh, when it comes to what's going on here because it doesn't look like he's in the same situation as her and i wonder how she's being played into this but uh you know thoughts and opinions in the description section or comment section i mean what is like lord for? Okay. you know his voice pig mask oh guys that's also probably him isn't it oh that's him that that is also John Kramer, John Jigsaw Kramer, Tobin Bell himself. I'm, I promise you that's him. Uh, they're, they're really keeping him. I'm, I'm sure. I thought that they would be selling the fact that he's in here, but you know, I guess his voice is enough because that's what a lot of people know. Die. Isn't that Laura Vandevoort though? Like, this is what really kind of tips me off. Like, are they showing us too much here? Because of this this scene, like what's going on here, I don't necessarily know. There's definitely a lot of stuff publicly going on as they're chasing, or as this is breaking down in some kind of a, in some kind of a, uh, you know, a modern day present or outside of the trap itself going on. I don't necessarily know what this all indicates. The other thing I want to say is I really, really love the music choice here. I know a lot of people might not like the music choice, but I really love the music choice just considering the fact that I, I wasn't necessarily expecting this. Like, honestly, I, I think that, I, I think that one of the things is, is it doesn't have to be all grunge music. It doesn't have to be all this like techno type of, ah, I'm gonna die. like. It's really nice, it's mellow, it's slow. It's the type of stuff that I think that John would listen to. Like, uh, you know, he he's kind of a man of the arts. He's kind of a renaissance man for the most part. I think these are the, like the kind of, it's upbeat, but it's also, it, it's also uh, really dark in its own right. And there's a lot to be thought about with that. I love the music of this trailer. If you haven't listened to it, just give it a listen. See, this might be publicly like one of the bodies they find, or or something in the in the like uh, in, the, in the flashbacks they're gonna do. I don't know. We got these. I don't necessarily know adrenaline, uh, something, just some way to kill somebody somehow for some reason. I I've, I've never been good with traps, so forgive me. But they do like a a Freddy thing coming up here. The choice is yours. See, they have to they have to trank her, kill her. I don't know why have they decided potentially like I said because this is kind of a soul five feel, maybe they realize they have to kill each other and that's not necessarily the same thing. I don't necessarily think. I mean, it would be a twist on it. Maybe they really do have to kill each other and this is not necessarily like John, but you know, like Laura Vandefort says, I don't know if she said it before here or after, but she said, you know, if it's a game we could win. You know his sense. We have we have the shotgun back. If it wouldn't be, it would not be a jigsaw film without a shotgun. <laughs> uh, okay, so we went through that trap. Now it looks like this guy's in trouble. Uh, obviously bleeding and everything. Potentially that's not his blood. If if we saw earlier, but uh, potentially it is. Maybe it looks like. What happens if we don't follow the rules? happens if we don't follow the rules this is the grain silo trap Blood that we saw the fingernails of our victim john kramer and who is this guy <laughs> they they make that up really really well like who is this guy but anyway they did say and they showed like okay the blood on the fingernails and one of the things that uh 
Peter Spierig said, I think it was Peter, maybe it was Michael the other day from Weekly Entertainment. What we, we uh, Entertainment Weekly, I mean, is the, you know, Jigsaw's DNA is all over this film, so maybe that's what he meant as a as a joke. And so, uh, yeah, like he, the the copycat killer actually has John Kramer's DNA. Maybe that means something. I mean, one of the show photos we saw was the idea that he actually buried or actually took up John's grave, and someone digged up John's grave. So potentially John Kramer's not in there or got some DNA. I don't know. The jigsaw killer. That's impossible. I like this. <laughs> I mean, how much of a dick move? I just want to also say when I did my when I did my kind of breakdown on that video, I that photo, I saw no one else talking about it. But I thought, you know, just based on what I saw, I thought, yeah, it looked like someone else was in there with her because we had those defined handprints where she wasn't, and I was right about that. So. I mean, that's, that's a small victory. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love how all these saws and everything just start falling out. It's just like it's just you know pain into misery. Really, it just kind of it just kind of feeds itself. <laughs> plus that, plus that, that just that uh, that video. You know that that song. Oh my God, it's just so perfect. <laughs> this is our motorcycle track. And I'm pretty sure that this is the stuff that's going to take us through the whole film. Look at this. It doesn't look like, the, it looks like an outside tree, but I mean, who knows exactly where they are? I mean, obviously they're not trapped in here in the same way that most people have always been trapped. It's more open. And here's really cool. This is what I don't understand is if this is our main trap that we've been watching this whole time with Laura Vandervoort and all the other people, why are they here? They're in the room where we started in with the buckets on their head. What kind of what kind of situation are they playing? And if they are playing some kind of time lapse situation where we're supposed to think that certain things are going on versus not going on, why are they showing this to us in the trailer? It doesn't look like an area that's so big that they wouldn't be able to find them and they get there while it's still going on. I just don't necessarily think that that's true. See, we're here, we're back here, torture room. This is the barn. We have this light here. These guys are the police. I don't necessarily know what's going on here to the extent that there's some kind of time situation going on here. See, like I said, is, isn't this weird? Like, what are your thoughts on this in the comment section below? I love this. <laughs> I just love this song. Guys, I love this song. I'm going to be listening to this song all day. But anyway, um, also interesting, something like a little bit of attack outside or something outside that's going to, you know, at least hurt people or be somewhat of a, a problem for people. Let me see if I can figure, find this. <laughs> Billy is back, people, in the best way possible. <laughs> we get it. We actually do get our shot, and they've changed him. Uh, they have changed him a bit. I love this actually. I actually love the idea that they're they're putting humor back into this. A lot of people don't remember the first Saul film had its fair share of laughs, and I think that. This is something we'll just play into that. You know, you need some kind of laughs. You can't just all be doom and gloom. And that's what they really became after a while. It was a lot of doom and gloom. No, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> kind of self-referential. Now these guys are sitting there. The four we had are being pulled up somehow. <laughs> Pull a lever. I don't know where this going on. Obviously with cars blowing up, but it was night, day then, now night. I wonder how this is all playing into each other. Oh, it goes so fast. All right. A lot of people talk, talked about this. Um, 21st century trap lasers. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll reserve judgment. Like I said, 
before. The traps aren't my favorite part. I'm not necessarily sure about this one, but I'm reserving all judgment for traps and, and story and everything until I actually see the film and see how it plays out. Like I said before, these Saul films don't necessarily give us a whole lot to go on in the trailer, so even though we might think we could figure all this out in the trailer, we just really can't. Oh, crap. I love the redesign for Billy. Looks a lot more menacing. Uh, also, looks basically the same, but definitely a redesign. They are, it looks like they're doing the same thing they did with uh, Saul 3D, where they put them on a digital flat screen, but they still have that like choppiness to it, and I don't necessarily like that. It's like, it's like, you know, it's 2017. Let's, l let's, let's have like a clear video. I know it's supposed to add to the atmosphere, but I just think it's not worth it. I love the spinning and stuff, and this is probably going to be pretty big in there. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's hot uh, iron or something. I don't know. But it's going to probably be part of their ad campaign at some point. I don't know what this is. Jigsaw. And like I said, and like you probably noticed, the jigsaw pieces are or the jigsaw words are kind of made like puzzle pieces, so that's that's just really awesome. In theaters October 27th, guys. Oh, man, guys, I like I said, I kind of broke this down as it went down, but I just wanted to kind of reiterate the fact that this is just awesome. I, it is so nice to have all of this back. And Lionsgate doesn't need to make this movie. Lionsgate, a lot of people say, my, a lot of people have said this, uh, it's like a lot of the other big studios out there. Uh, they are built off of, I think it was like New Line, yeah, like the house that Freddy built. Well, Jigsaw is the house that, or Lionsgate is the house that Jigsaw built. They don't have to do this. They don't have to make this movie. They're making this movie because not only will it sell, are people excited to see it, yes, but they have other things that they can do in order to make money. And it's just so awesome that they decided to come back to this film. And they really did. They came back to this franchise when they really didn't have to. And it's always not about money. It's not about all this other stuff. Is that they waited until there was a good idea out there. And guys, I know there might be some people who are disappointed with this trailer. I'm not at all. And I hope everyone is excited. At least is still excited for the movie. Even if the trailer did disappoint you. Be clear. Well, just be very clear. This is not the trailer. I mean, like, this is not the movie, this is only the trailer, this is only your first look into it, and it's exciting for me, but I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us me all your thoughts on the trailer, all of them, just every, every single one. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna, I hope everyone has a good day. I'm gonna be out. It's been real, man.